Factorizing is the opposite of expanding. When we expand, we take our expression out of brackets, and when we factorize, we put our expression into brackets. Let's look at this first question, expand and simplify. When we expand and simplify, we multiply both of the terms in the first bracket by both of the terms in the second bracket. So we do a times a, which gets us a squared, a times 2, which is 2a, 6 times a, which is 6a, and 6 times 2, which is 12. We collect like terms, we simplify by adding the terms that are the same. So we've got a squared still, we've got 2a plus 6a which makes 8a, and we've got plus 12. So you can see the second question that says factorize starts with the answer. And we're going to go back to what was previously the question. So the answer to factorizing a squared plus 8a plus 12 is a plus 6 times a plus 2. How do we get there? So we recognize that this pattern, so we've got a squared term, an a term in this example, and a number, goes into double brackets. The a squared comes from a times a. So we have an a in both the brackets. The 12, so this positive 12, came from our 6 times our 2, so our two numbers multiplied together. So that comes from our two numbers multiplied together, and our 8, our 8a, came from our 6 now 2 added together. 8 is 6 plus 2, and 12 is 6 times 2. So what we can do is we can start with the number that is multiplied, so if we start with 12, we can say what numbers would multiply to make 12. So 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. They are the numbers that multiply to make 12. And then with these numbers, we can ask which of these options can add to give me an 8. Now 1 and 12 can't. They can add to make 13. Or if I take away, I could get 11. With 3 and 4, I could add to get 7, or take away to get 1. The only way I can get 8 is with 2 and 6. So we have plus 2 and plus 6, which adds to make 8. Positive 2 plus a positive 6 is a positive 8. And multiplies to make a 12. A positive 2 times a positive 6 is a positive 12. So that is our answer. Let's look at some examples of this. So our first question says factorize a squared plus 6a plus 8. So we're going to put this into double brackets. We've got an a squared term which is going to come from a times a. So we're going to have an a in both of the brackets. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to make 8, a positive 8, and add to make a positive 6. So let's look at what multiplies to make 8. We can have 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. It's not in any other times tables. They are our only options. So which of these can give us a 6? That's going to be 2 and 4, plus 2, plus 4. So that is our answer. And if we expanded this, we'd get back to a squared plus 6a plus 8. Let's look at the second one. b squared plus 2b minus 15. So we've got a b squared, which is going to come from a b in both of the brackets. 
we're looking at two numbers that multiply to make a negative 15 and add to make a positive 2. So what multiplies to make 15? 1 times 15. It's not in the 2 times table. And 3 times 5. They are the options. How can we make a 2? So 1 and 15 are no good. We can make 16 or 14. We need 3 and 5. And we're going to do plus 5 and minus 3. So 5 take away 3 is 2. And the positive 5 times a negative 3 is a negative 15. The third one, c squared minus 3c minus 28. So we can have a c in each of the brackets. What multiplies to make 28? So 1 times 28, 2 times 14. It's not in the 3s, 4 times 7, and it's not in the 5s or the 6s. So they are our options. How can we get a minus 3? So we want two numbers that multiply to make negative 28 and add to make negative 3. Our only option is 4 and 7. So we're going to have a positive 4 and a negative 7. 4 take away 7 is negative 3. And question four, we've got d squared minus 5d plus 6. So what multiplies to make 6? 1, 6 or 2, 3s. So which one of these can give me a 5? Well, they both can. So I can have 1 and positive 1 and negative 6. Or I could have negative 2 take away 3, negative 2 and negative 3. Both of these will add to make a negative 5. But they've got to multiply, they've got to also multiply to make a positive 6. So which one of these would multiply to make a positive 6? That's going to be the negative times the negative. So d minus 2 and d minus 3 would expand to give me this. Okay, 4 for you to try, so pause the video and give them a go. The first one, we're going to have an e in each of the brackets. What multiplies to make 12? So 1, 12, 2, 6s and 3, 4s. We need to make a positive 8. So plus 2, plus 6. For the second one, we've got an F in each of the brackets. There's only one thing that multiplies to make 7. 7 is a prime number. So it's going to have to be 1 times 7. How can we make a negative 8? Minus 1 and minus 7. You can put them either way around. You can have minus 7, minus 1. It means the same thing. And question 3. We're going to have a G in each of the brackets. What multiplies to make 30? So 1 30, 2 15s, 3 10s. It's not in the 4s and 5 6s. How can I make a negative 1 out of these? My only option is 5 and 6. Plus 5, take away 6. And question 4. So we're going to have a H in each of the brackets. What multiplies to make 24? 1, 24, 2, 12s, 3, 8s. And four sixes. Which of these can give me a 10? They've got two options. So 2 and 12. So I could have 
a positive 12 and a negative 2. Or 4 and 6, I can have a positive 4 and a positive 6. But which one of these will multiply to give me a negative 24? That can only be 12 and 2. So plus 12 minus 2. We've got some different examples now. They don't look like they are double brackets. They don't seem to follow the same format as the other ones, but they are. There's just no term in the middle. So in the first one, there's no A term. And that's because we're looking for two numbers that add up to make zero. So what two numbers multiply to make 9, negative 9, and add to make 0? It's plus 3 and minus 3. So it's A plus 3 and A minus 3. We call this the difference of two squares. So if we expanded this, we get A times A, which is A squared a times negative 3, which is negative 3a, 3 times a, which is 3a, and a positive times a negative, 3 times 3 is 9. And we've got minus 3a plus 3a, or a negative 3a plus 3a, which is 0. So we just get a squared minus 9. So whenever we have two things that are squared, with a minus in between them, we get the difference of two squares. So for the second one, what multiplies to make 64? 8 times 8. So it's b plus 8 and b minus 8. For the third one, 25 is 5 squared. So it's c plus 5 and c minus 5. And for the last one, we've got two things that are squared. We've got D and E, D squared and E squared. So we're going to have D plus E and D minus E. So if we expanded these brackets, we'd get back to our questions. OK, four for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. So these are all the difference of two squares. So we have the same thing in the brackets, but one with a plus and one with a minus. So the first one is S plus four and S minus four. We've got D plus two and D minus two. F plus 10 and F minus 10. and g plus 9 and g minus 9. To finish up, we've got three questions. So pause the video and give them a go. Question one, factorize a squared plus 2a minus 24. So we're going to have double brackets. We're going to have an a in each bracket because a times a makes a squared. Then we're looking for two numbers that multiply to make negative 24 and add to make a positive 2. So what numbers multiply to make 24? 1 times 24, 2 12s, 3 eighths, and 4 sixes. It's not in the 5 times table. So they are all of our options. So which of these options can we get to make a positive 2? So the only numbers that can make a 2 is 4 and 6. So how can we make a positive 2 out of 4 and 6? So we can have a positive 6 and a negative 4. 6 take away 4 is 2. And 6 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 24. It doesn't matter which way round you put these brackets, you could have a minus 4 
first and then a plus six afterwards. Question two, b squared minus seven b plus 12. So we're gonna have again double brackets, this time with a b in each bracket because b times b makes b squared. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to make 12 and add to give negative seven. So what numbers multiply to make 12? One 12, two sixes, and three fours. How can we make a negative seven? So we're gonna have to use three and four, and it's gonna be minus three minus four, or a negative three take away four. Negative three take away four is negative seven, a negative three times negative four is positive 12. And again, if you put B minus four, B minus three, that is the same thing. The third one, C squared minus 49. It is the difference of two squares. What multiplies to make negative 49 and adds to make zero? That's plus seven and minus seven. 